In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Mass SDK into a game that has never used advertisements before. So the first step is to make sure you have already downloaded the Mass SDK from our developer documentation at developers.yodo1.com. And once you've done this successfully, the next step is to make sure you have the Unity editor open with the game that you're planning to integrate advertisements into. Ready to go? Great. Once you have the Unity editor open, the first step is to go ahead and add the SDK to the game by importing it. And you'll want to import everything. Now, when you click import, it may take a little bit of time, but eventually the folder structure of your game and specifically your assets will change. So you'll see inside of assets, two folders uh, relating to Android and iOS and plugins and the dependencies for Android will start to resolve. This is a very lengthy process, so we'll wait for it to finish. And after it does, the next step in the process is to make an empty object. This object will be called ads manager, and it will be used to make sure that advertisements appear in the scene. Next, we want to create a script, which we'll also call ads manager. And this script will where, be where we add the majority of Yoda One's advertising logic for mass. Opening this script up, we're going to take a look at the developer documentation, the Unity integration. And we'll start by copying over using Yoda One Mass and adding that to the top of the file. Next, we'll go ahead and add the initialization method directly into our start. And this will make sure that the Yoda One SDK actually starts in your game when your game is ready to go. So I want to show you first how you would configure banners. And for that, I would start by copying the callbacks, which uh, Yoda One and Mass handle in the background. Now I want to put this into my start method as well. And later on, we'll talk more about these callbacks. But what you need to know is that unlike other ad networks, they're managing everything in the background so that you just have to focus on figuring out whether or not an advertisement is ready. And if it is, then you can show it. So first creating a conditional and then copying the show method and pasting it directly after. This is not the only way of implementing banners, but it is the simplest and it will make sure that you can see banners if they're ready to go, if Mass has them loaded. Okay, the next step in this process is interstitials. So if you have never used an interstitial before, uh, this is a great opportunity to do so. Go ahead and also copy the callback methods. You'll want to make sure they go after all of the banner logic to keep things simple and organized. And you can follow a very similar process for interstitials, but it will be a little bit different. Um, for starters, we recommend that you create a method, and this method can be called whatever you like, but we recommend you call it show interstitial. And then you add some logic for the interstitial, just like you did for the banner and use the show method if the interstitial ad is loaded. You can then paste this method for show interstitial into your code wherever you like, uh, whenever you want to show an interstitial. Now, finally, with rewarded video, you can follow the same process. Go ahead and paste it within the start method underneath your interstitial method. And just as before with the interstitial, you'll want to create a separate method called show rewarded. Let me go ahead and write that. 
All right, and once that's ready, you'll just want to add a conditional that if it's loaded, then you show it. Very straightforward. You can use this in your code whenever you want to show a rewarded video. And many times people ask, how do I reward the player? Well, you would do it in the fourth case within the delegate method of, for the rewarded video callbacks. And just simply add the logic for giving the reward there. And you're good to go. Now, once this process is complete, you need to make sure that the ads manager is properly connected to the object called ads manager by dragging and dropping the script. And after this process is complete, you're nearly done. You want to make sure that you add your app key and your AdMob ID into your Android settings. So you can find that information on your mass dashboard. Just click details on the game list page. You'll find your app key there. You can paste that in. And you also find your AdMob ID on the same page and you can paste that in too. Once you save the configuration, then you'll know that Yoda One Mass is initializing, which is the last step in the process of the base installation of the SDK. Finally, you might be wondering, how do I show an ad? Well, as a simple example, let's go ahead and check out the play button. What if we wanted to have an interstitial play as soon as the game starts? For that, we simply need to go to the play button object, and then we want to go ahead and make sure that we run the show interstitial method that we previously wrote. Once we're done, we can build the game. And after the build process is complete, we'll have a ready to go APK for testing purposes that we can use to find out and make sure that Mass is running successfully in our game before we upload it to Google Play. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to the developer support team. Hopefully this will help you to successfully add mass to your game if you've never used advertisements before. Thank you.